The train, for its type, is the most powerful vehicle on land. And the engines of Sodor are the power behind the docks, industries and branch lines that make up the world-renowned North Western Railway. These are the stories of Sodor. It's amazing how quickly the fortunes of a business can change. Those were the words of Sir Handel Brown, owner of the mid Sodor Railway. I overheard him say that to Sir Topham during the autumn of 1954. I didn't think much of it at the time, but in hindsight, it was blatantly obvious what he was talking about. By that point, the Peel Godred branch had been in service for about a year, and it had had disastrous implications for the MSR. Peel Godred itself is a rather large town, one whose people and businesses had relied heavily on the mid Sodor Railway for their survival given the town's relative isolation. But when the branch line was built, the need for the MSR was completely bypassed. As a consequence, they lost a huge amount of work. Goods contracts dried up and passenger services dwindled. It should be worth mentioning that when Britain's railways were nationalised, this only applied to the standard gauge system, not the narrow gauge ones. And being a privately owned business, the MSR couldn't rely on government support to survive. However, the MSR still had access to the rather profitable coal and slate contracts of the region, which kept it going. Furthermore, Sir Handel was not the type of man to sit idly by. He began to pivot his company's focus towards the tourist industry and took steps to draw people in. You should be very proud, Sir Handel. Looks like your tourism campaign worked. Yes, so it seems. Our first excursion and it's sold out. The board will be happy to hear, especially since they were so opposed to buying these new coaches. These ones hold more people, don't they? They do, which is why I was so determined to get them. It was a gamble to be sure, but it looks as if it's paid off. A good thing too. It'd be great if these tourist trains can cover our goods losses. Bust my buffers. Look at that meager lot! It was hardly worth getting out of the shed for! Alright Stanley, that'll do. Duke, you had best get going. No point in running these trains if they don't keep to time. No sir. Wish me luck. You won't need it, Duke. Duke, what's wrong? Why have you stopped? I heard something. That's not real specific. If I knew specifically what I'd heard... Fizzling fireboxes! Oh no, I know what that is. Avalanche! Quick, back up! Crikey, that was close. You two alright? Yeah, we're fine. We'll have to head back. <sighs> so much for a gamble paying off. How bad is it? Only a few cuts and scrapes from flying rock. Nothing to worry about. I wouldn't say that, Falcon. Being cut off by an avalanche is bad enough, but for some of our passengers to get hurt? Hell of a way to ring in a new service. You can't possibly be thinking about blaming yourself. I feel partly responsible for putting those people in harm's way. Well, don't. 
It's not your fault, and I'll have a go at anyone who says otherwise. Oi there, Grandpa. Heard you took your passengers on an adventure tour today. Must have been some trip to get the ambulances involved. Top performance there, mate. Oh, bugger off, George. We're in no mood for you today. Or any other day. All right, I'll get along. But you might want to know we've reached the top of the hills. Won't be long before we head on to King Ori's Bridge. Pretty soon, you tusspots won't be needed at all. Rubbish. A railway is always needed. Now that's rubbish. Railways are no good. Pull them off, turn them into roads, I say. If you keep going the way you are, that may well happen. Ha 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 I really hate that mongrel. Who doesn't? The nerve of that tosser, saying we'll get turned into roads. What does he know? Unfortunately, he would know about the road's progress. Oh, aye. What do you think will happen when that's finished being built? Nothing good, I'm sure. Duke's statement, I'm sorry to say, was very accurate. The road in question was a council project started about two years prior as part of an election promise to the towns in the region. Starting at Arlesborough, the road snaked its way up through the hills to link up with various communities before finally ending at Peel Godred. This, of course, would further circumvent the need for the Midsodor Railway. The MSR's hopes of drawing in tourism were dashed that day as the line had been cut off from the scenic highlands, and unfortunately, they lacked the resources to clear away the rock. This meant that when the road was completed two months later, the MSR was dealt a severe blow. The affordability and convenience offered by buses and lorries further sapped the company of work. It got so bad, they were forced to shut down passenger services. Now the MSR was strictly an industrial railway, resigned to carrying out coal and slate deliveries. But even that wouldn't last much longer. Well? No good. The winch is completely shot. It'll need a complete overhaul to fix. A complete overhaul? You're balmy, mate. We can't afford that. I don't see what else we can do, unless you want to try freewheeling this lot down the- Oh no! What the- Why weren't the brakes on? They were, I swear! Damn rusting trucks! What a waste of my talents that I'm forced to shunt slate. What in fizzling fireboxes was that? Oh my goodness! Atlas, are you all right? I've been better. Ow! Now I know how Stuart felt. Don't worry, I'll go get help. Sit tight. I don't know what else you expect me to do. There you are, into the workshop. They'll fix you up in no time. No time would be great. I've got to get back to work. Come now, Atlas. Your well-being is far more important. My well-being, and yours for that matter, depends on our work. If we can't keep this railway open, we're in trouble. Such devotion and dedication. <sighs> Why did you have to be right, Edward? What do you mean? Nothing. Atlas, I apologize for all the horrible things I've said to you over the years. You are a true engine, an inspiration to us all. Are you dying or something, Andreas? No, Stuart. I am being sincere. Oh, well, thank you, Andreas. I'm thrilled to hear that. And as for your work, you needn't worry. I will cover your shifts to the best of my abilities. In that case, the railway is in good buffers. You are a gallant chap, Atlas. Ha! 
so one of your lads got banged up, did he? If you make any snide remarks about that, I swear I'll pounce off these rails and shove my trucks up your backside. You think you're a hard man, do you? You're nothing but a wannabe. You swank around with your steamroller wheels pretending you're as good as me. I don't have to pretend to be as good as you, mate. I'm better. Oh yeah? Better this. What the hell? Are you off your nut? Bust my boiler. You git. That was your fault. No, it wasn't. It was yours. We must have argued for hours before a copper finally showed up. Tell me he took George in. Aye. There was a witness who saw what he did. The copper promised they were going to throw the book at him. At least that's something. Is it just me, or have you chaps noticed the incredible run of bad luck we have been experiencing in recent times? It's pretty hard not to notice, Andreas. Ever since the lucky lamp disappeared, things have gone from bad to worse. How does the lamp keep vanishing like that? It doesn't matter. Besides, who's to say these things wouldn't have happened had the lamp been here? A very good point, Duke. Evening, Sir Handel. Are you alright? I have some good news and some very bad news. First the good. George has been given 20 days local confinement for ramming into you, Falcon. And since he is a council-owned vehicle, they have offered us compensation for the incident, which we have accepted. That is good news, sir. I'm sure you'll put that money to good use. Yes, but not in the way you might be thinking. That, I'm afraid, is the very bad news. There is no easy way to say this, so here it is. The mid Soto Railway will be closing down. Whoa, whoa, what? Why, sir? It turns out the situation at the Slate Quarry was more severe than they let on. A broken winch was just the tip of the iceberg. In short, they too will be closing. And a recent inspection by the coal board will also see the shutdown of the local mines. So as you can see, there is literally no reason for us to continue operating. But what about the money the council is paying us? That will be used to pay out redundancies to the staff, but it will not be enough to keep the company afloat. What about us, sir? I will make every effort to ensure you find new homes. You have all done an outstanding job for this railway over the decades. Your efforts are the reason why we have lasted this long. You should be very proud of yourselves. I know I am. Thank you, Sir Handel. I think I speak for all of us when I say it was a pleasure working for you. Thank you, Duke. And thank you, everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. I will speak with you soon. Good night. Good night, sir. Closed? Bust my buffers. I always suspected it might come to this, but now that it has, I don't know how to feel. You should be miserable and ticked off, Andreas. I certainly am. Come now, Falcon. No point getting riled up. It won't change anything. What do we do? We adapt to the situation. We carry ourselves like professionals and not give in to juvenile impulses. That is what a really useful engine does. Let yourselves feel sad, of course, but don't give in to it. You're right, Duke. <sighs> All the same, I'm really going to miss this place. It truly was a joy working here. Yes, it was. But don't worry, wherever we end up is bound to be just as nice or better. I have no doubt Sir Handel will make sure of it. Lads! Atlas, don't do that! You'll cause my safety valve to burst. Sorry, Duke. It's nice to see you're out of the works. Have you heard what's happened? That we're closing down? Yeah, I have. But I've got fantastic news! We've been sold! What? All of us? Already? Yep, that's not even the best part. Not only have we all been bought by the same company, it's right here on Sodor! You don't mean... So, after all these years we finally meet. Welcome my friends to the Skarloey Railway. Thank you Skarloey, it's such an honour to be here. We are proud to have you. Aye, maybe now we won't be so overworked. Even without the nameplate, it's clear you're Duncan. What's that supposed to mean? I'm pleased to say that was the start of a beautiful friendship. 
The Minnesota boys easily adapted to their new home and were warmly welcomed by the locals. Thanks to their help, business on the SKR boomed. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with certain details surrounding the closure of the MSR and are wondering what did and didn't actually happen. But as I'm currently needed elsewhere, I'm afraid that will have to wait until next time. <laughs>